The Fargo community and police are trying to build trusting relationships after recent crime issues have rocked the city. After a shooting incident earlier this week in North Fargo, officers held a Fargo United event tonight to help bring police and the public closer together. Valley News Team's Natalie Parsons explains how this gathering was full of surprises. Everybody clap your hands. People of all ages and ethnicities gathered in Fargo to unite with police for a night to remember. While many crowded the stage area for music and dancing, the Abrahamsons took on the jungle gym. There was one thing their littlest was most excited for. We got a park. Fargo police teamed up with First Assembly and Life Church of Fargo at Madison Elementary School, having an event that parents can agree will make a difference in keeping their children safe in the future. If there's an emergency, they'll feel more comfortable going up to an officer or any other uniformed person. Some people may fear the men and women in blue or anyone with a badge, but Fargo police in Cass County want you to know otherwise. If it means a cop has to rap, if it means we got to dunk a cop in a dunk tank, which we've been doing, we're just going to make it happen to show the community that we care. One Fargo police officer took his job to build community trust seriously without being too serious and choosing to get the community's attention in a way they won't forget. The police really care about all people all the time, everywhere. DPB and his crew helped get Officer Bloom on stage, supplying the music and emceeing with the hope of serving the masses and helping us realize what exactly we have in front of us. And we got some good cops here, and they really believe in us. They, they, they're, they see us, man. They see the potential in us, and that we're, we are, we're going to be okay. Coming together to change for the better, Natalie Parsons, Valley News Live. If you fizz, uh, missed Fargo United tonight, you have a second chance to attend this Sunday at McCormick Park. We have more information on our website at valleynewslive.com.